I want to share with you the process behind the creation of our Troy and Lorenzo boots in water repellent suede because really more than a process, it was a really interesting evolution that happened over a significant amount of time. So I spent a lot of time going through your emails, reading suggestions that you have about what we should add to our collections, what we should take out, what we're missing, what you'd like to see. And very early on, I saw a lot of emails, especially from customers in our damper climates, like London, New York. There were a lot of emails requesting shoes with rubber outsoles. I also would see a lot of emails requesting shoes with suede uppers, which we had never really done a lot of. At the same time, I would read customer service emails of customers that would have one of our leather shoes, wore them in the rain or got caught in a rainstorm, and they were curious about how to care for their shoes after they had gotten wet. So I always thought about this, and I really wanted a way to put it all together. And the first step in doing that was the release of our rubber outsoles back in 2018. And when we did create that rubber outsole, it was very important to me that we don't lose our aesthetic, our Ace Marks DNA of clean lines, luxurious looking shoes, finely crafted looking shoes. I didn't want to end up with a dress shoe on a chunky rubber bottom. So the rubber outsole that we developed, if you look at it from the side, it's actually very difficult to tell if the shoe is on a rubber or leather outsole, and that's by design. I wanted to be sure that we don't lose our aesthetic. And earlier this year, during our factory access campaign, we released water repellent sneakers, and those were a huge hit. And actually, I like to wear them a lot. They're very functional. My kids also have a great time when I wear them because they love to spill water on them, laugh at me, but then watch the water beat off of the suede. So it's really entertaining for the family as well. But, so I really wanted to put the rubber outsoles, the water repellent suedes, I wanted to put it all together, and we did that in a boot. And the first boot that we made was our Troy in a water repellent suede upper with our rubber outsoles. And these are great, very functional boots, especially, again, during winter, if you're in a damp climate, um, if you're going to get caught in the rain, if you don't want to wear one of our leather shoes, but you don't want to give up wearing our shoes because, frankly, you've gotten a little bit spoiled um, in the comfort and the look and the compliments that you get with our shoes. Uh, so we wanted to have an option for you during those rainy days. And that's what this boot is. It's really a beautiful, soft upper suede and with a very low profile rubber bottom. So you don't have that chunky look. You can wear it with a suit, you can wear it with jeans and it looks just great. And by the same token, we're introducing also our chukka boot, our Lorenzo chukka boot in the same water repellent material. These are also, again, very soft, rubber outsole. All of our rubber outsoles are Blake stitched. These are really shoes that are intended to last a lifetime. They can be resold. And even though the suede is really nice and soft, it's also pretty rugged for weather. So that's the story of how we ended up with these wonderful, really beautiful water repellent suede boots. So I really hope you get a chance to grab one of these and try them on this winter and enjoy them as much as I enjoyed making them.